Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. A recipe for disaster is the state of Florida, a Walmart, and this debate over whether people should wear masks or not. I am so sick of this this thing where, you know what, if, if you're not wearing a mask, I'm all of a sudden mad at you because it's for the protection of everybody around. If you feel that strongly about it, then wear a mask. Have your family wear a mask. Stay away from people that are not wearing a mask. If you feel that strongly about it, I think that's the position you should take. But it is not proper to go and condemn everybody who is not wearing a mask. They say that, you know, it's for the safety of everybody. They say it's for the safety of you, it's for the safety of me, and therefore you need to do what I think you should do. And I think that's horrible. It's ridiculous. It shouldn't be that way. The same argument can be made for those who carry a gun. Say, you know what? I'm carrying a gun. You should be carrying a gun. We should be making sure that each other is safe. But we don't hear that argument now, do we? And that brings us to this story right here. It involved wearing a mask or a man not wearing a mask in a Walmart. It actually happened July 12th. It's making big news now. A lot of people are talking about it. It's all over the news. And I just wanted to share my thoughts about this because a lot of dynamic uh, dynamics play into this story. A 28-year-old man named Vincent Scavetta was pushing his dad around in a wheelchair in Walmart. A 46-year-old man approached him and condemned him. Said, you're not wearing a mask. You should be wearing a mask. He had a six-year-old daughter there. And an argument took place. Cuss words were drawing the attention of everybody around. And eventually, Scavetta had enough, and he pulls his gun on the guy. It said that he had a, a M&P 40. All right? He pulls his gun on the guy, finger off the trigger, points it at him, and then brings it back down to low and ready. He argues that, first off, in terms of the mask, that it was raining outside and that his mask was wet, making it difficult for him to breathe. Therefore, he was not wearing it. Also, he says that he was hit by an umbrella by the 46-year-old guy. Now, if that is true, which I have not seen any evidence of that, but it may be on the Walmart security cameras, which captured all of this, then he's got a argument for self-defense. If he was hit with an umbrella or even threatened with an umbrella, that is a weapon. You could get seriously injured by an umbrella, all right? Now, the pictures that I saw showed that the six-year-old daughter had the umbrella, but he, he got a gun pointed at his face, and then Scavetta said, I will kill you. This is where things went south really quick. He's going to have to justify pulling his gun, that his life was in danger, his father's life, great bodily harm over this angry guy, over the fact that he was not wearing a mask. He leaves the store, all right? Now, it shows up on the surveillance cameras, Walmart people give it to local police, they put a warrant out for his arrest, his friend calls him, he turns himself in. He gets charged with a felony of aggravated assault with a firearm, and improper exhibition with a firearm and those are big time charges now where did he go wrong well he could have created some distance with the guy and you know there's no evidence that he got hit with the umbrella but if it is true then i believe the charges should be dropped and everything should go on as normal and i think the 46 year old guy should be charged but if it's not true this guy is going to spend a ton of money defending himself. The early predictions are that he's going to get his CCW removed, and that certainly could be the case. It's still up in the air as to what happened, but I think he was quick to draw his gun, all right? Now, if his dad's life was in danger, okay, I understand. If his life was in danger, if he did get hit with the umbrella, but if he didn't, he's in big time trouble, and he, you know, to top it off with, I will kill you, Making that type of verbal threat is just not a good idea for a CCW holder. If everybody in this situation just minded their own business and maybe did a couple yapping back and forth, but then they, they left the area, things would have turned out much better for both parties. But instead, this is going to be an ongoing story as to who was right, who was wrong, who's telling the truth, and who is lying. But when a gun is involved, it heightens the alertness and everybody feels the need to weigh in on it. So we'll see, you know, be careful, mind your own business. If, you know, if you're wearing a mask, then, then wear it. If not, leave other people alone. It's not your job to go condemn people for 
wearing or for not wearing a mask. Do what you have to do to be safe, but as far as other people are concerned, let them be and let the chips fall where they may. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.